Thursday, May 16th, 2019. I'm Kelsey Mayhew. The president has declared a national emergency about technology. We have details. And I'm Casey Moulton. SpaceX takes another shot at the World Wide Web tonight. The news is next. winds down, we'll have shorter and shorter shows. This also means you'll have less and less time to get that I changed to a letter grade. Remember, an I will eventually become an F, so get it fixed while you can. Bronte Priest and Grace Davis qualified for state tennis in girls doubles and will be competing this weekend. If you have them in class or see them in the halls, wish them luck. Seniors, Friday is your last day of class, but with the end of class comes the end of your school computer accounts. If there's anything you want to keep, you will need to back it up to a flash drive or personal online storage account, like Dropbox or Google Drive, or it will disappear into electron hell. The Wildcat Football Spring Kickoff Chili Feed is Monday from 5.30 to 7.30 on the Commons. Join the Wildcat Football community as they kick off spring football. You can meet the coach, enjoy good chili, and watch practice under the lights. Players, equipment checkout starts at 3 p.m. Athletes, mark May 29th on your calendars and get your physical and paperwork done for next year. Sports physical will be given on May 29th in our main gym from 3 to 7 p.m. for only $20. No insurance needed and 100% of the fees go back to Nampa's sports medicine program. For today's activities, we have nothing scheduled. We'll be right back after this. AP testing is right around the corner. Like every year, there's some information you need to know. Tests are taken at the school the class is offered. The deadline to request funding has already passed, so if you haven't paid, you will be charged. The testing registration window has closed as well. Rooming information will be posted on the counseling center windows a week before testing begins. For more information and a complete testing schedule, check out www.collegeboard.org. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make yours a great one and see Dr. Keller today. Today we have a high of 71 and a low of 51. And today, tomorrow a high of 60 and a low of 47. Back to you, Casey. Thanks, Kelsey. On Wednesday, the president declared a national emergency over threats against American technology, the White House said. The move, done via executive order, authorized the Commerce Secretary to block transactions that involve com information or communications technology that poses an unacceptable risk to the national security of the United States. Following the order, the U.S. Department of Commerce announced the addition of Huawei Technologies and its affiliates to the Bureau of Industry and Security Entity list, making it more difficult for the Chinese telecom giant to conduct business with U.S. companies. About 15 minutes before the Falcon 9 rocket was on due to lift off on Wednesday evening from Florida, the launch was scrubbed. The culprit? Unfavorable upper level winds. Fortunately, SpaceX has a backup window that opens again at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time Thursday. If the weather and Falcon 9 rocket cooperate, the first batch of SpaceX's internet satellites will launch from Florida this evening. With a mass of 18.5 tons, this will be the company's heaviest launch to date for either the Falcon 9 or Falcon Heavy rocket. The SAT word of the day is intrepid, which means fearless or bold. You could use it like this. Nitro the broadcasting dog is an intrepid scavenger. He'll approach anyone and eat anything. That's, That's the, the news. news. Thanks, Thanks for watching, watching and remember, live the Wildcat way.